Good morning, children. How are you all? Studying hard? Very good. So, this is English for class 11. Can you guess today's topic? Yes. Note making. How to make notes? <clears throat> Read the passage carefully. Very important, children. Give a heading to your work. The heading will be based on the following considerations. 1. What is the main idea of the passage? 2. Frame a heading based on the main idea. 3. Write it in the middle of the page. Give subheadings. Children, again in the examination pre-board 2, I found you made so many errors in the question on note making. So please go to it very carefully. Subheadings. How has the main idea been presented and developed? Two. Are there two or three subordinate associated ideas? Are there two or three subordinate or associated ideas? Third. Frame subheadings based on these. Fourth point. Very important. Points are to be noted under each subheading. Are there further details or points of the subtitles that you wish to keep in these notes? These are called points. Points may again have sub points. <clears throat> All subheadings should be at a uniform distance from the margin. Indenting. Points should also be at the <clears throat> same distance away from the margin. Do not write complete sentences. Abbreviations should be used. Help with abbreviations. Use standard abbreviations and symbols as far as possible. Remember these points. So capitalize the first letters of the names of states, countries, organizations. For example, UP, USA, UK and UNO. Common abbreviations. We know this. SC is for science. Mr. Mrs. Government. BSC etc. These are some of the common abbreviations. You have to use this. Then symbols. Positive. Negative. Leading to. Rising. Falling. Equal to. Less than. Greater than. Measurements and figures. See. 100 centimeters, inches, kg, millimeters, milliliters. Make your own abbreviations. Keep the main sounds of the words education, program. See how it is abbreviated, children. It is a good practice to keep the first few and the last letters of the word, such as education. See, Edu and then end. Developing, retain the suffix so that later when you are going over the notes, you may recall the full form of the word. For example, see, educational, E-D-N-A-L, progressive. Remember these points, children. Third one, take the following caution. Do not get over enthusiastic about abbreviations. What will happen? You'll go wrong. You should not abbreviate every word. Not required. One abbreviation in one point is enough. As a general rule, the heading should not be abbreviated. You may use abbreviations in subheadings. Your note should look like this. Indenting is essential, compulsory. See, heading, subheading, then point 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. This again have, can be subdivided, which could be a sub point, subheading. See how, how the indenting is done here. Notice that indenting that is shifting from the margin has been used to clearly indicate subheadings, points and subpoints. Subheadings 
though separated by points occur below one another similarly points and sub points should also come below one another remember these points very important use such use of indenting gives your notes a visual character at a glance you can see the main idea and its various aspects numbering you may follow any system but you should be consistent that is you should follow the same system throughout some examples are given below look at that then abbreviations <clears throat> note making is an informal exercise as it is meant for you for your use only you will not present a formal document in note form notes will be developed into more formal piece of writing since notes are informal and are meant for your use only you can abbreviate long words or use accepted abbreviations and symbols writing a summary the summary is an abstract of the passage so what is a summary and abstract of the passage expand your heading and subheadings and write down the ideas developed in the passage in the specified word limit how to make notes read the passage carefully give a heading then subheadings this again i have already told you so go through it very carefully children then these are the points to remember so note down go through again and again so that it is very very clear to you children so that you get full marks in the question on note making okay children see very important then abbreviations how to use symbols as far as possible see i am showing this to you again so that you can understand better and remember of course so that's all about note making children so i have a passage for you for better understanding children flexibility and mobility are essential not only to reduce the risk of injuries but to generally feel better living in a 9 to 5 desk life can be demanding on health and wellness here is how you can keep the most common problems at bay okay even if you are not exercising you need to make sure you maintain correct posture and sit at your desk in the right way it is important that your chair is placed correctly and your legs are not left hanging proper alignment ensures that your neck and back are not at all what strained very important exercises in abdominal crunches two or three times a week can strengthen the core it will help take the pressure off your back and will make it easier to maintain good posture chairs with a back that support your upper back are preferable for those who work long hours in front of the screens constant typing writing reports and answering emails can exert your wrists leading to long term damage the frequency of your use and how you position your wrist at your keyboard can be a reason the telltale signs of exertion would be tingling sensation or numbness one should not ignore initial signs make sure that you rest your wrist at regular intervals to relieve tension quickly fold your hands in namaste in front of your chest with elbows moving out and lower your hands till you feel a good stretch in your wrists also rotating your fists inside and outside provides much relief to strained wrists since those who work on desks spend a lot of time looking 
at a computer screen they are at a risk of straining their eyes this may also lead to dry eyes and fatigue poor eyesight is a result of continued and improper exposure to screens keeping the computer screen at an optimal distance helps a lot in minimizing strain to eyes the screen shouldn't be too close or too far to ease eye strain use good lighting and make it a point to look at a distance away from your screen every 20 to 30 minutes so you have to remember this children very important this is a question on the basis of your reading of the above passage make notes on it using headings and subheadings use recognizable abbreviations and a format you consider suitable also apply a title to it write a summary of the passage in not more than 80 words using the notes made answer health and wellness for desk users one correct postures posture 1.1 place chair correctly for neck and back 1.2 don't hang legs 1.3 exercises exercises and abdominal crunches choose chairs with support from upper back maintaining wrist flexibility wrong position can cause wrist damage cause tingling relax wrists regularly in namaste position and stretch rotate wrists inside and outside preventing eye strain Eye strain can cause dry eyes and fatigue. Keep computer screen set an optimal distance to prevent poor eyesight. Use good lighting. Look at a, a distant spot every 20 30 minutes. Now key to abbreviations used. You have to write exactly like this children. You don't write it in the examination. Come on. Please learn the correct format. key to abbreviations used see correctly how is it abbreviated exercises abdominal damage regularly lighting please go through it properly very important next summary desk users are at a risk of losing flexibility mobility and wellness due to long working hours Good selection of office chairs and proper posture are essential for neck and back health. Damage to the wrists can be prevented by exercising them frequently. Eyes too are at risk due to looking at the computer screen for long. Optimal distance from the screen will prevent fatigue, dry eyes and poor vision. Good lighting is essential. Yes. one should look away from the screen every 20 30 minutes children have a look at it once again how to write that how to answer that question on note making see how is it done please note down very important children see how the points are mentioned and then the sub points please go through it are you getting it and especially the abbreviation key to abbreviation see how is it written you have to write like this key to abbreviations used and then you have to write 1 2 3 4 and then the summary see how is it written the summary you have to write like this this is a sample that i am showing you so that you are able to read and learn and write properly correctly I hope you got it. So this is how you have to write the summary children. One more passage children have a look at it please. Jahangir was born on 30th August 1569 to Akbar the Mughal emperor and his Hindu wife Jodha Bai. He was crowned on 24 October 1605. 
In the 22 years he was emperor till his death on 20th October 1627, he had many battles to fight and many rebellions to suppress. But he always found time for his greatest hobby, the study of animals and plants. He was an avid bird watcher or an ornithologist, as he would be called now, and a keen journalist and a keen naturalist. The care and accuracy with which Jahangir described various characteristics of animals and birds, their geographical distribution and behavior would have done credit to a full-time naturalist. His observations are recorded in his memoirs. Tuzuk e Jahangiri Jahangir had a small zoo and he would spend hours sometimes days and nights together on his observations. For the first time in the history of ornithology, he noted how Sarah's cranes mate brood over their eggs in turn and how chicks are hatched and taken care of. He also observed one human quality in this bird. The parents love not only their eggs and chicks but also each other. The emperor had several famous painters in his court. When he came across a rare animal, bird or plant, he would instruct an artist to draw it. The painter who excelled in this art was Ustad Mansoor. For modern ornithologists, Jahangir's collection of paintings provides a strikingly accurate description of the natural history of the day. Unfortunately, most of these paintings are no longer to be found in India. With the disintegration of the Mughal Empire, foreign adventures looted the treasure. Most of the paintings were thus lost. In 1850, sorry, in 1958, a Russian researcher Ivanok created a sensation when he discovered a rare portrait of the dodo, a large non-flying pigeon-like bird which became extinct about three centuries ago. This portrait was found in a collection of paintings at the Institute of Orientalists of Soviet Academy of Sciences. There was no way of defying the painter, but the style without doubt was that of Ustad Mansur. Now there is evidence to show that it was the portrait of Mauritian Dodo that was presented to Emperor Jahangir around 1624. Over three centuries after their death, Jahangir and his Dodo made a dramatic reappearance in the world of ornithology. Jahangir also loved gardens, but his dissertations in botany and but his dissertations in botany and horticulture were mostly confined to how a lotus traps hornets or how saffron sprouts from soil however he was responsible for the cultivation of high altitude trees such as cypress juniper pine and Javanese sandal in plains. Jahangir had many other scientific interests. He once conducted an experiment to show that the air of Mahmudabad in Gujarat was healthier than that of Ahmedabad. So he did that, children. See, scientific minded person. Yes, children, I feel so. Don't you feel so? Okay. He was fascinated by the movement of the stars and the planets and used to regularly record the occurrence of solar and the comet made its appearance he recorded the growth of decay of uh, its tail. On the basis of your reading of the above passage, make notes on it and you have to use the abbreviations and write the summary. So here's the answer children, Emperor Jahangir, naturalist. Then point number one, C, and then in that, C characteristics is abbreviated. In the first point of point number one, do you see that, children? Yes, have a look at it. 
then documentation of observations see how the points written see adventurous how is it abbreviated then see point number 3 other scientific interests scientific is abbreviated their children can you see that then in the second point of the third one see cultivation is abbreviated experts is abbreviated movement is abbreviated so you should also do it in the same way learn then key to abbreviation see characteristics adventurous scientific cultivation experiments movement see how the words are abbreviated then summary see how is the summary written do you see that how is the summary written children you have to write it in the same way children see once again have a look at the answer children just see how is it how is the note making done for this particular question and how are you supposed to use abbreviations wherever required at least 4 to 5 abbreviations are required see how it is written in points children do you see that how the abbreviations are used children then you have to write like this key to abbreviations and then you have to write the word and the word and the uh, abbreviation used for that word you have to write it like that the word and the abbreviation used but before that on top you have to write key to abbreviations you got it and this is how you are supposed to abbreviate then the summary children this is how you have to write the summary children it is given in the question 80 words is it given or not children yes it is so this is how you have to write the summary children so this is your assignment you have to write down the question and the answer you got my point children yes so this is how you have to do it don't forget don't make errors in note making read again and again so that you are thorough with it children it is not that easy it looks easy sounds easy but it is not children so what are you supposed to do yes read again and again so that everything is recorded in your mind and you do not make any error in the examination i hope you got my point children okay that's all thank you goodbye